rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless Give me that nigga in the coupe looking brainless Shout out to the plug cause the rollie looking stainless Lifestyle of the rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless Smoke royalty. We're smoking with y'all, man. Welcome to episode four of the OG pack. You feel me? Featuring Mike P and Tink the Demon. You dig what I'm saying? On URL's Born Legacy 2. Welcome to Smoke Sunday. Where each and every Sunday we drop constant non I mean content non-stop. Like as a constant for the whole day. You dig what I'm saying? Um I appreciate y'all for rocking with me just the way I rock out with y'all. You feel me? Like I said, this is the OG Pack episode four exclusively on Get Your Bars Up Media. You dig what I'm saying? Shout out to Harlem Frontal Fresh. We outside network um, and the whole Get Your Bars Up Media squad. You dig what I'm saying? Salute BA. Salute Snack King and everybody. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, Capo. You feel me? Uh, uh, you get your bars up or hold these L's. You feel me? Um. Getting right into it. Tink the Demon versus Mike P. Mike P versus Tink the Demon. This was a special one, you did what I'm saying? Almost forgot. Got my OG pack right here. I hope you guys got y'all OG packs with y'all. Uh, because this one right here is a goodie. You hear me? This one right here was fire. You hear what I'm saying? Hmm. I miss seeing the smack imprint. I miss seeing the sprrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
And when Smack knows that it's going to be one of them, it normally is one of them. Remember the last one? It's like Smack knew that this was one of them. You feel me? This one, he's saying to start it off, this is going to be one of them. You guys pay attention. You did what I'm saying? Um, and then once again, drunk smack, <laughs> he messes up Mike, uh, Mike, Mike P's area code and says six, one, three. Uh, but Mike, Mike P clears it up. He's like, nah, it's the five, one, six or the six, three, one. You did what I'm saying. <laughs> but smack was close. He said six, one, three. <laughs> when it was six, three, one, I thought that was funny as I don't know what. And then they, they was, uh, flipping the coin, but ink, I mean, Tink says, I'm going first. F all of this. I'm going first, which I think he 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 was trying to neutralize a Mike P first round because Mike P at this time his first rounds was crazy. His first and his third rounds was crazy. You feel me? Um, which his third rounds is still crazy. You feel me? Uh, but I felt like he wanted to jump out there in front and kind of set the tone for the battle. You feel me? Um, which was fire. Uh, top of the top of the round one. Tink, this is a this is battle rap where people like you can take every fear from the real life consciousness and replace it with confidence. And I feel like I wrote that bar down because I feel like that is the state of battle rap. Like people um, say stuff that they wouldn't normally do in their real life in battle rap, and they feel like a sense of confidence when, while doing it. It gives them that sort of confidence that they need uh, uh, to survive in this culture. You did what I'm saying? When really outside of this, you know what I mean? People ain't about all of that. You feel me? Um, so I wrote that down. Um, for instance, the Tommy squirting off jump, uh, like the start of Rugrats, uh, the talk about your life, the addiction, uh, the nice house in Long Island, not the chrome wilding. Talk about your life. Stop trying all. It's like, I felt like he was talking to Mike P. You feel me? Like, yo, you ain't got to do what we do just to come. You know what I mean? Just to, just to be here. You feel me? You can, you can still be here. You know what I mean? But talk about the real shit. Talk about you. You know what I mean? Talk about the addiction. You know what I mean? Talk about the nice house in Long Island. You feel me? Don't be talking. Don't be out here talking about you got the chrome and you wilding. Like, let's talk about your life. You did what I'm saying? You ain't got to try to live ours. You feel me? That was fire to me. Uh, and this is where Tink the Demon starts to heat up, right? Everything from the four... Everything from the fort hit up like like on frying flour. I done beat cases, whipping the real white. A true nigga, how I'm playing the field. Like, no cotton picking, oxy cotton flipping. If you live in that pill life, that's crazy. What? <laughs> I, I'm going to read that back for y'all one more time. I done beat cases, whipping that real white. A true nigga, how I'm playing the field like. No cotton picking. Oxy cotton flipping. If you live in that pill like fire. Two clips. It hold 20 and 12. This will end your shit like a Mayan calendar. That was crazy. Two clips hold 20 and 12. End your shit like a Mayan calendar. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fire, son. Um... I mix louds and hallucinate. You want a hit of that? You ever had something stronger than you, than you possess your body and you can't get it back? Tink is different. Tink is super different, right? Mm. Tink is like one of them, one of the goriest rappers that we have. One of the goriest battle rappers that may be the goriest battle rapper that we have that we relate to. That's crazy. How is it that gory and we relate to it? Is it, are we sick? Do we have like, you know what I mean? Is that, is he, is team playing on that yin and that yang? You know what I mean? Uh, 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 because we relate to it. Like I relate to that. You know what I mean? I mix louds and hallucinate. You want to hit of that? You ever had something stronger than you possess your body and couldn't get it back? That's fire. And it's super relatable. Um, 
Each round getting written in pitch black like rid it back. As far as your mother, it's her time, Warner, like Cinemax. Picture the body without the skin attached. <laughs> yo, hey, yo. Hey, when I tell you Tink started to heat up and go crazy, you feel me? Tink started to heat up and go crazy. I mix louds and hallucinate. You want a hit of that? You have, you, oh man, I'm reading the, the old bars again. Fuck it, we, go, we about to go back. You ever had you ever had something stronger than you possess your body and couldn't get it back? Each round getting written in pitch black like rid it back. As far as your mother, it's her time. Warner like Cinemax. Picture the body without the skin attached. I did Gucci last year. This Easter Prada spent a quarter of Kia Coke for that bleach Marada. <laughs> what? The Trey 5-7. My Beethoven, older than Beethoven. That's the antique revolver. That's crazy. That's crazy. I approach problems with poise. Expose and explode. Whatever liquid like nitroglycerin. <laughs> Whatever I liquid like nitroglycerin. That's fire. This is what I mean by gory. I approach problems with poise. Expose it. Expose and explode. Whatever I liquid like nitro glistening. Cause when nitro glistening glycerin, the liquid is explode is exposed, it explodes. That's crazy. That's fire. All my animals etched in stone and off the walls like the hieroglyphic. That's crazy. <laughs> what? I was still born. Bonnie Godiva the box. Then get bored. And then get, I'm still born. Body, Bonnie Godiva the box. Then get born again. That's reincarnation. That's fire. Smack like that bar. Smack, smack wild out for that bar. Just a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I whip white and push tan. Do that make me a racist? If I have my, if I run up on your bitch and have my Asian sneaker, would that make her an ASIC? <laughs> Now, Tink was spazzing. Mike P's Corner even liked that bar. Mike P's Corner was like, yeah, nah, that's a bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? They tried to hold it back. But that bar, they was like, nah, that one's, that one's crazy. You feel me? Um, Smack and Beasley asked you to do blogs or an interview. Something showing the artist or the interview. A hundred bullets in your face. It ain't an interview. Steak knife will open you up. Showing the artist in the interview. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Hold up. Tink was spazzing, son. Listen. Listen. You guys, if you haven't watched this battle, y'all need to go and watch this battle. This was the, the emergence or... Or not just the emergence, like the I'm here for Mike P and uh and and like listen, it ain't enough. Whatever y'all try to do for the demon, it's not enough for Tink the Demon. You feel me? Um, this was one of them. You feel me? Um, where I come from, being open minded means a hole in your Caesar. That's crazy. We gonna read them last four over again. Schmack and Beasley asked you to do blogs or an interview. Something showing the artists and the interview. A hundred bullets in your face ain't an interview. Steak knife will open you up. Showing the artists and the interview. Where I'm from, being open-minded means, means a hole in your season. That's crazy. That's fire. You did what I'm saying? Uh, bottom of the first round, Mike P goes. He kicks it off. This draft is like he has he has like a bar scheme, which is crazy. You feel me? This draft is light. If you think the if you think a bartender round on round on you, gonna be your fix, Tink. Straight shots, bottle raise open. Now think, Tink. That's fire. <laughs> that's fire. Um, I shake shit up out the cosmos, bar for bar. I'm mixed, Tink. Uh, you heroin? I'm withdraws. Tink won't be able to think when I blow the H out him. That's crazy. What? What? Let's read that bar that bar scheme one more time. The bartender scheme. The draft light. If you think a bartender 
Round on you. Gonna be your fix, Tink. Straight shots. Bottle rage open. Now I think, Tink. Shake shit up. Out the Cosmo. Bar for bar. I'm mixed, Tink. You heroin? I'm withdraws. Tink won't be able to think when I blow the H out him. That's fire. Raise two. Put a star to his head. Make a demon a bar from it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Raise two? <laughs> Put a star on his head? Make a demon a bar from it? That's crazy. That's crazy, Mike P. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Get split between missions like a co-op. It's modern warf warfare. It's mapped out. Giving a UAV will be a bold plot. Fire. I'm stamped. The pressure is on UK. Don't flop. That's crazy. What? Get split between missions like a co-op? Is modern warfare is mapped out? Giving UAV will be a bold plot? I'm stamped. The pressure is on UK. Don't flop. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, giving the UAV, giving you a victory, UAV will be a bold plot. I'm stamped. The pressure is on UK. Don't flop. UK, don't flop. Fire. Uh, you need a 30 in your life. Other than White Castle, Crave Cases. Fire. Um... Mama said, if you see a demon, just the devil playing tricks, fire. Uh, tink impression. He does, he does a fire tink impression. I'm not going to lie to you. The Renault to ride of the pistol, more still. Stomp your baby's rib cage and create a force field. That tink impression was crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I'll twist heads, take everything in demon's possession, fire. Your child special. I'm giving the 38 to the kid. Fire. Um, just because we look like Robin Big don't mean I'm letting the dog skate in the crib. That's crazy. Mike P was spazzing. <laughs> Mike P was spazzing this first round. Um, however, um, I felt like the first round, well, I was about to give y'all who I thought. Uh, I'm going to give y'all who I thought won at the end. So stay tuned. You dig what I'm saying? Um, top of the second round. Tink the Demon goes. Um, get your head ice. I'm feeling like a werewolf with this half moon. That's crazy. That's fire. Uh, ask about me. They're going to say he shoot. Ask about me. They're going to say he shoot shit. And he bra. The drum on the chopper look like a hockey puck for Neanderthals. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's a big ass drum. Um, I remind the living to keep quiet when when the dead rapping. Whoever does, whoever or whatever makes the first sound get replaced with an A and pushed to the back like pig Latin. That's crazy. I remind the living to keep quiet when the dead rapping. Who whoever or whatever makes the first sound get placed with an A get replaced with an A. And push to the back like pig Latin. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fire. Um, play St. Mike and get him like a Methodist. Hey, Rum, I'll let more than one race in this building. I ain't prejudiced. That's fire. I'll make your bitch scream until she turn horse. Then I give that bitch wings like a Pegasus. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nah, say, nah, say, yo, who the, who the, who is you talking to like that, Tink? <laughs> oh man, say, yo, play Saint Mike, get him like a Methodist, a hey, rum. I let more than one race in this building. I ain't prejudiced. I'll make a bitch, I'll make your bitch scream till she turn horse. Then I give that bitch wings like a Pegasus. That's crazy. That's crazy, for real, though. Four, four barrels on one handgun. I still ain't got over that. Like, since when pistol canes with a stove attached. That's crazy. Four barrels on one handgun. I still ain't got over that. Like, since when pistols came with a stove attached. When I was born, Doc said the umbilical cord came with the dead rose attached. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, get biblical. 
on your way to Jesus, a bullet with Exodus and part everything he see in front of him like Moses back. That's crazy. That may be, man, look, I know that goes with the first, with the first Ram scheme. Hold up. Like I said, he's gory, but we relate to it. Normally when somebody's gory like that, it's just way left field and we don't relate to it like that, right? But Tink is gory and we relate to it. That's crazy. That says something about us. <laughs> Four barrels on one handgun. I still ain't got over that. Like since when pistols came with a stove attached. When I was born, the doc said the umbilical cord came with the dead rose attached. Get biblical on your way to Jesus. A bullet will exit this and part everything he see in front of him like Moses back. That's crazy. That's fire. Make Mike the body for introduction. Fire, son, sunfire. Let, let them get to know each other from the trunk of a sunfire. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm dumb higher. I roll up with the AK-47, blow smoke, it's a lung dryer. You gonna need a doc as an umpire. The moment I use your back as a back catcher for gunfire. That's fire. What? <laughs> Holy smokes. Holy smokes. We might have to read that again. What? Make Mike P the body for introduction. The fire sun, the sun fire. Let them get to know each other from the trunk of a sun fire. I'm dumb higher. I'll roll up the AK-47, blow smoke, it's a lung dryer. You get, you gonna need a dog as an umpire. The moment I use your back as a back catcher for gunfire. That's crazy. What? I knew as soon as you stepped to the plate and pop fly, he would catch it. Mike Piazza, slavery voice. Mike Piazza wigging on your dumb ass. Fire. And then he calls out Av. Blame Norge. Y'all knew he was booking the booking a beast. It's crazy how I can architect give Av a new look on the streets. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Nah, he wildin'. He wildin'. Blame Norbs. Y'all y'all know he was booking a beast. It's crazy how I can architect give Av a new look on the streets. That's crazy. Tell Sug Ballhead Nephew, the 38 special. I will shoot a J from Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell Sug Ballhead Nephew, the 38 special. When I shoot a J from 400 blocks, may God bless you. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, nah, say, nah, say, he was, he was going crazy in this round. You feel me? He was going stupidly, retardedly crazy in this round. Hold up. We reading that again. I don't care. Blame Norris. Y'all know he was booking the beast. It's crazy how I can architect give Ab a new look in the streets. Tell Sug Ballhead Nephew the 38 special. When I shoot a J from 400 blocks, may God bless you. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, after that bar, Smack pushes to the stage. It pushes to the front of the stage. You feel me? <laughs> that was fire. That was a fire. Listen, he could have he could have ended with that, but he kept going. I mumble one word as I run up on your muscle, relaxed and body pee. Any real killer know when you kill something and wait for a second, you can see the muscles relax and the body pee. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, nah, nah, nah. Tink is different. Tink is different. Hmm. When Tink is spitting that, we need Tink on the caffeine and caffeine. We need Tink in one of these small rooms on caffeine. I promise you. Because this right here is crazy. I'm going to read that one more time. I'll mumble one word as I run up on your muscle. Relax and then body pee. 
Any real killer know when you kill something and wait for a second, you can see the muscles relax and the body pee. That's crazy. That's crazy. That was a fire second round by uh, Tink the Demon. Bottom of the second round, Mike P goes. Quit the brain games. You might psych all the G's, but I know what your mind like. That's fire. Quit the brain games. Psychology. Psychology. But I know what your mind like. Fire. Uh, she saw my Peter fly. Tink her bell getting rung out. Fire. Saw my Peter fly. Tink her bell getting run out. Fire. Peter Pan. Tink her bell. Y'all know what it is. I dumb out. Fuck who watching. I'm in that sped school. With two sticks behind my back, I'm Deadpool. Fire. You 6'7 and rap loud. B-boy until he saw I was banging on his level. The deuce deuce a tutu. I was dancing with the devil. Fire. <laughs> Hold up, we running that back. I dumb out. Fuck who, fuck who watching. I'm in that sped school with two sticks behind the back. I'm Deadpool. You 6'7 and rap loud, b-boying, till he saw I was banging on his level. The deuce deuce a tutu. I was dancing with the devil. Fire. I hit little Tink Tink with a haymaker and never dropped the ball. Streets Volume 2, Game Breaker. Fire. <laughs> if y'all don't remember Streets Volume 2 with the Game Breaker, that's fire. Hold up. Stop the flex. I ain't going to pocket check a man who ain't who has nothing. Fire. Um, bars have you up against the wall like like pool sticks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to read this right. These bars that have you up against the wall like pool sticks. Two ribs cracked by two fists. Hadouken. You can't catch... You hold up, hold on. You can catch every damn thing on the move list on that Ryu shit. Guess who can? You tink, you can catch every blue frame from my side. You can't. That's fire. <laughs> I know I didn't say it like he did, but that's fire. That's fire. I'm gonna try to say it like he did. Hold on, hold on. Mm hmm. We gonna try it. Bars have you up against the wall like pool sticks. Two ribs cracked by two fists. Hadouken. You can catch everything in the move list. On that Ryu shit, guess who can? You can. Catch every catch a blue fame from a shot. You can. I can't say it like him. But that was fire. That whole Street Fighter Hadouken. That was crazy. The crowd goes crazy for this. They they won't even let him get this shit off. You feel me? I believe he goes. He gets the bars get uh, bars have you up against the wall like pool sticks. Two ribs cracked by two fists. How do get crowd goes stupid? Right? He couldn't even get it down. Then he he says that again, and he goes, "You can catch every damn thing on a move list." Crowd goes berserk. Right? And then he says all of that over again on that Ryu shit. Guess who can? You think you can catch a blue fan, catch a blue flame from a shot? You can. Crowd goes crazy again. Like it was what? <laughs> it's like two bars. Crowds go crazy over the lines, each and every line. <laughs> That's fire. That's a fire moment. You feel me? Uh, that's a that's a historic moment in battle rap history as well. You feel me? Um, fuck you and your master's degree. You fat muffin. All that chemical nuclear atom shit, and you don't have substance. Fire. Um, you don't know me. I had nothing. I couldn't sleep. Them drugs was heavy. It was heavy dragged. Avoiding fifteen minutes of fame, giving me heavy bags. That's crazy. That's crazy because, you know, everybody was avoiding heavy bags for the interview for 15 minutes of fame. That's crazy. You don't know me. I had nothing. I could never sleep. And this kind of plays on 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 Tink's uh, first angle in the first round. Like, you know what I mean? Like, listen, just be you. Whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? You ain't got to say, you know what I mean? You ain't got, you, you, you ain't, you can say uh, uh, about your, about your, uh, um, your nice life, you know what I mean? Talk about the addiction and shit like that, right? Where well, he comes back and says, listen, Tink, you don't know me. 
I had nothing. I couldn't sleep. The days I was, them days was heavy drag. Avoiding the 15 minutes of fame, giving me heavy bags. That's fire. He's giving you a piece of himself right there. Uh, you think money until a, until a cash crisis put you on the Walmart? Then it's Walmart. We slash prices. That's fire. You think it's money till a cash crisis puts you on a Walmart? Till it's Walmart. We slash prices. That's fire. Um, have your bitch half naked on the bed with the temp still on? Legs, legs up. That shit look like head ices. Fire. That was fire. Um, top of the third round. Tink the demon goes and he freestyles top this top of the third. You feel me? Um, here's here's what trying to play me costs. Here's what trying to play me costing. Stacy Ogman. I play with the hawk, but I, I'm the plastic man. That was fire. Somebody tell Louis LeBron I'll shoot his pastor in his face in front of his mom for false preaching. You a victim of whitewashing and false teaching. Fire. <laughs> Fire, he talk about the saga. The saga is right there on stage. You dig what I'm saying? Um, who else is on stage? I wrote it down who was on stage. Um, so we had on stage was Briz, Briz Ralstein, Newborn, Jazz, Queens Flip, None None, the saga. Many more was on stage for this one. This was a fire. Like everybody wanted to see this one. This was one of them. Smack said it in the beginning, and he hasn't disappointed yet. You feel me? Um, somebody tell Louis LeBron, I shoot his pastor in his, in his face in front of his moms for false preaching. You a victim of whitewashing and false teaching fire. My Mossberg made in Manchester. The first sign of static is automatic. You get tuned in with your ancestors. That's crazy. That was crazy. That shook the room. You feel me? Uh, Tink stops and he turns to Mike P. He's like, yo, Mike P. You see how I'm shaking the room? Like, your little Hadouken, it was good. It, you know what I mean? It got, you know what I mean? A little buzz, but this how you shake the room. Your second was fire, by the way. You feel me? He told, Tink told Mike P that. that I thought that was fire. Good sportsmanship. You feel me? Um, the shoulder shot. Now you got a wing. What did he say? Shoulder shot. Now you got a wing left. Stomach shot. Now you got a swing set. Two to the head. Make them meditate. The body fall victim to gravity soon as you levitate. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Hold up. <laughs> I feel like rapping, son. Hold up. <laughs> Dude, my man said, yo. My man said, yo, shoulder shot. Now you got a wing left. Stomach shot. Now you got a swing set. Two to the head. Make him meditate. The body fall victim to gravity as soon as he levitate. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's fire. Um, and then I noticed when he asked for water, they brought a real glass of water to the stage with a little bit of ice. <laughs> It wasn't even a bottle of water. It was a glass of water, my nigga, like in a cup. That was funny. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, he had the pee from the war report angle, which was fire. Uh, he said, I'm just here for a pure body. Uh, where Jazz at? Fire. At this time, Jazz was, you know what I mean? Uh, I believe... I believe Jazz ain't lo ain't popped the cherry yet. Word the official, you know what I'm saying. But I believe she was still pure at this moment. You did what I'm saying. If not, it's always good to say that Jazz is pure. You know what I mean. You can always go back and and say that about Jazz because Jazz is look like looked at as the younger sister. You know what I mean, the niece or something like that. You feel me? Um, so here for for a pure body. Where's Jazz at? Fire. Um, I sp I spaz like. I'll spaz like a bad back. Talk crazy to police. Like, where your badge at? Fire. Spaz like a bad back and talk crazy to police. Like, where your badge at? <laughs> Fire. Paraninas. When I see you in the streets, it's no love, homie. Soon as you read for the pair, I'll four nail you. I ain't got no drugs on me. That's fire. Paraphernalia. That's fire. A pair of Ninas, when I see you in the streets, is no love, homie. 
As soon as you reach for as soon as you reach for the pair of Fonelia, ain't got no drugs on me. That's fire. That's fire. My career. Tell P from the war report. I don't play about that. Acting like we not we on the same level. I feel some type of way about that. Put two P's in a box like the PayPal app. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fire. My career. Tell P from the Royal Report, I don't play about that. Acting like we on the same level, I feel some type of way about that. Put two P's in a box, like the PayPal ad. That's crazy. That's how you put two P's in a box, like a PayPal ad. That's fire. Um, the drug addiction angle was fire. Um, talking about Mike P's drug addiction and stuff. Uh, one perk away from meeting your your Holy Ghost. I thought that was fire. Uh, the people um paying for PG's angle. You know what I mean? Like yo, I had to earn my PG. Now niggas is up here paying for PG's. Like that's crazy. You feel me? Um, like that's super crazy. You did what I'm saying. Um, the ghost in me got a taste for potpourri. That's your body odor when I linger it. That's crazy. The ghost in me got a taste of potpourri. That's your body odor when I linger it. That's crazy. Um, bottom of the third round, Mike P goes. Yeah, which one is weirder? Your content, I don't know which one is weirder. Your content and your rounds are your baby pictures. Thought that was funny. It was also fire. You a demon. That means you dead. The holy dumb boxed you. You a spirit. You free to inherit the wild views. But it's fate. You possessing a body that's not you. Fire. Fire might be. Uh, I'm going to read that one more time. You a demon. That means you dead. The holy done boxed you. You a spirit. You free to inherit the wild views. But this, but it's fake. You possessing a body that's not you. Talk, my P. Um, the bag right, raise hell just to, just to drug you, just to drag you in the past life, the bag right, raise hell just to drag you in the past life, steak, it's, what do you say, knives stuck in your kidney, resembles a bagpipe, that's crazy, <laughs> the bag right, raise hell to drag you in the past life? Knife stuck in your kidney resembles a bagpipe? That's fire. That's fire. Uh, the, handful, the handful of nuclear reaction on standby? Fill your fucking lips up with a fist of graphite? What? Mike P was wigging. I'm not going to lie to you. You want to play red, but you play the part of pimple. Soon as the coin flip, See what playing Harvey gets you? That's fire. That's fire. The triggers on both sides. That bitch look like an Atari symbol. Fire. <laughs> Stop saying he weird. I'm white. I take offense to that. That's fire too. Uh, a blade through his rib cage. I made a vent for that. Toe smack. Sophia, Sophia the body. If I got to pay a bad bitch. Fire. Sophia the body. If I got to pay a bad bitch. Fire. Um, they say, they say you win, bro. I wasn't nervous. I was pissed, fam. Like when your bike fall and you just put it on the curb with the kickstand. That's crazy. That's super relatable. Like both of them is relatable. Like you feel me? One is gory. The other one, you know what I mean? Come from a, a, a privileged place, so to speak. You feel me? Um, and yet they're both relatable. That's how you know this culture is for everyone. You dig what I'm saying? As long as you, as long as you can relate to everybody, you dig what I'm saying? You're for this culture. You feel me? Um, we park white whips. Shoot your little dogs. We can span you. Slam the door. Hop out the white van. Get you manhandled. We pull off, but as soon as you think we gone, we back at it again with the white vans. Damn, Daniel. That's fire. Damn, Daniel Bar. Only Mike P can make that bar hit like it hit. You feel me? That was a, for real, that was a haymaker. You feel me? Um, we part white whips. Shoot, shoot your little dogs. We can spaniels. Slam the door. Hop out the van. You get manhandled. 
We pull off. But as soon as you think we gone, we back at it again with the white vans. Damn, Daniel, that's fire. The white vans, damn, Daniel. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> look, man, look, I know a lot of people, um, they love that, that second round from Mike P, right? I love it as well. I love it as well. Let me tell y'all who I got, man. I got Tink the Demon taking this 2-1. If not 3-0, like, it's an edge, though. Like, don't get me, like, don't be mad at me. You feel me? I'm just the, you know what I mean? I'm just seeing what I what I wrote down, and I'm, I'm looking at it on TV. You dig what I'm saying? I live with this battle for maybe four or five days, you dig? Um, and, and I felt like... The first round was close, right? The first round was super close. Um, but in my opinion, it's not debatable. In my opinion, I still edged it to um, to Tink. And when I say edge, I felt like Tink did enough in that third round to, to clear a win. In that, I mean, in the first round to clear a win for it. You did what I'm saying? Maybe I'm wrong. You feel me? But I just felt like Mike P's round was short. And, and and Tink's uh, uh Tink's control over the room was crazy. It was like a dark, gloomy situation. You did what I'm saying, and it captivates people, and they want to sit there and listen. You feel me? Niggas is in awe. Like, what is this nigga gonna say next? You feel me? And and I feel like he showed that in the first round. Uh, and I gave him that first round. And I put super close. Uh, uh, by by the first round. However, I still got Tink the Demon taking that round. The second round. The second round is debatable for me. Um, however, I know Mike P turned up in the second round with that whole how do get, you know what I mean? That scheme was crazy. The Street Fighter scheme was crazy, right? Like, two ribs cracked by two fists, how do get, you know what I mean? That was crazy. Um, however, that was one moment, though. You feel me? That was a big moment. It was a big moment. It even goes down in history, in battle rap history, as one of the biggest moments, right? But Tink, in the second round, was spit Tink. You hear me? Was spit Tink. And the freestyles in the beginning, fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then he had the, the haymakers, too. He had, like, two or three haymakers as well. You feel me? As well as the um the uh the 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 shots for for J four hundred and the shots for uh um uh, who else he took a shot at but he took a shot at J four hundred when I shoot a J from four hundred blocks away may God bless you what that was crazy that was crazy you feel me and the Manchester the Manchester bar the um. The man, my shotgun made in Manchester. My Mossberg made in Manchester. The first sign of the static is automatic. You get tuned in with your ancestors. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. You feel me? Um, oh, that was the... I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Uh, <laughs> that's the top of the third round. <laughs> I'm tripping. Uh, but the... Oh, the any real killer. Uh, any real killer know when you kill something. And wait a second, you can see the muscles relax in the body, Pete. That's crazy. You feel me? Uh, and he took a shot. He took a shot at, um, at Av. Blame Norbs. Y'all know he was booking the beast? It's crazy how I can architect and give Av a new look on the street. Tell Sug, bald headed nephew, the 38 special. When I shoot a J from 400 blocks away, may God bless you. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. I know, listen, I know that that second round, um, that moment was crazy by Mike P, but I'm going I'm to be real with you. That was two bars, maybe four bars, two to four bars of, of pure greatness. You feel me? But those two to four bars don't make up of a whole round. You did what I'm saying? However, I still got it. Super debatable because that moment was super big. It was super captivating. I ran that moment back maybe four or five times. I'm not going to lie to you. So I got super close round debatable. So I will not fret if you got Mike P winning this round. You did what I'm saying. However, I just felt like Tink did enough 
tinked it a little bit more the second round. You did what I'm saying uh, uh, to edge that round to tink the demon. You feel me? And then the third round, I felt like it was close, but the more complete round was from Mike P. You did what I'm saying? Mike P's uh, third round was was super. Uh, he gave himself a, I mean, he gave a piece of of himself in this round. You did what I'm saying? Um, he also. Um, kind of like play to his shit, like like you a demon, you know what I mean? That means you dead already. Like, what is we doing? The holy done already boxed you. You a spirit. You free to inherit them wild views, but it's fate. You possessing a body that's not you. Like he was talking to Tink. You did what I'm saying? The bag right raise raise hell just to drag you in the past life. Knives stuck in your kidney resemble bagpipes. Like, he was really, you know what I mean? He was turning up on you. Handful of nuclear reactor on standby. Fill your fucking lips with a fistful of graphite. Like, he was cooking, you feel me? Um, And even with the witty joints, you feel me? They say you'd win, bro. I wasn't nervous. I was pissed, fam. Like, when your bike fall and you just put it on the curb with the kickstand, like, everybody can relate to that, you feel me? And it's super witty, you feel me? And even the last few bars, we park, we park white, we park white whips, shoot your little dogs, we can spaniels, slam the door, hop out the van, get you manhandled, we pull off. But as soon as you think we gone, we back at it again with the white vans. Damn, Daniel. Like, he was spazzing in the second round. It was a complete round by Mike P. But I also feel like Mike P's, each and every round from Mike P was, I don't know if it was condensed, if it was short, you know what I mean? What what it was, but it was not as long as, as Tink's, you feel me? I feel like Tink came to rap um, a little bit over the time limit, if you will. <laughs> but... With Mike P making it this close and you still rap that long, that says a lot about Mike P, you feel me? Um, OG Pack episode four is in the books. You know what I'm saying? Smoke Sundays. We here. We ain't going nowhere, you feel me? Shout out to Get Your Bars Up Media um, for letting me do this OG Pack exclusively on Get Your Bars Up Media. You dig what I'm saying? Uh the OG BA, you feel me? The OG Capo, you did what I'm saying? Shanak King Cole, you did what I'm saying? Harlem Front, so fresh, we outside. You feel me? Um, but this was a dope, dope battle. If you have time, please go back and watch this battle. Um, it's not that long. It's 52 minutes long. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's like it's like seven minutes of, um, or, or I'm going to be real to you, like five minutes of, um, of, of trailers or whatever. But... It get right into the action. You know what I mean? Is it, it is a lot of crowd reaction, but it is warranted. You feel me? Um, it is a super dope battle. I, I wish each and every one of y'all t- can go and watch this. And if you do, come right back here and tell me who you got. If you think Tink won, like I said, I got Tink 2-1. Uh, that second round is super debatable for me, so it can go either way. Um, uh, whoever you giving it to, you feel me? The first round was close, in my opinion. And that third round... Um, the third round I, I gave to Mike P for having a more uh, complete, a more dynamic round. You did what I'm saying. Um, however, man, Smoke Sundays, man. Y'all welcome. You feel me? Each and every Sunday, tune in or tune out. You feel me? Um, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You dig. Salute for those that deserve it. You feel me? And as always, man, I love y'all. Gang. And famous, some die with the name, some die nameless. Give me that nigga in the coupe looking brainless. Shout out to the plug, cause the rollie looking stainless. Lifestyle of the rich and famous, some die with the name, some die nameless.